Yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. Yeah, I thought... Hey. I had to come on a new account to play this. I can remember I had this old account that I made a couple of months ago. Because obviously all this, the, the save from this, it's all connected. You can't exactly... Uh, you can't exactly start a new game. You've got to actually like delete the save just to start a game like a new game again So I had to kind of do that Yeah, not long, not long, not long. Because uh, cause that bit that you said, it says it like near the beginning of the game. It's on the second cutscene where he says that the guy just came from hell. What you expect type of thing. But... Like I said, Nero doesn't know Dante, and he seems to think that Dante came out of hell with the demons, but it's like Dante is in the beginning of the game. I forgot I used to do this stupid one. Because even when you... <laughs> You're on the second mission. Oh, mate. The demons. There's a bunch of demons out. And then he says, do you think he brought them with him? In a way. It like, 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 kind of says something like that. But it's like... That's just, just the only thing I'm just confused about. Unless if... The ending of 2. That was Dante on the bike. But it's like, how did Dante get out? That's that's the only thing that just boggles me. How did Dante open the portal if you can't open it? Because he's not got the two medallions and the sword because he gave them Trish. like that's just the only thing that boggles me is how how did Dante get up unless it kind of tells you on how he got out on five that's the only uh, only way they could say they could explain it is how he got out of hell on, on supposedly since twos before this Isn't Virgil in hell? Yeah, he's in hell from three. Because you're in the demon world on the last mission, on mission twenty. You're in the, you're in the demon world, and that's when you fight each other. Then he stays there. You do know the dude on Devil May Cry one, the dude that you see that's like that night looking dude. I keep forgetting his name. That's Virgil. That's Virgil corrupted. 
For when Moon just beat him and then he corrupted his soul. And then he turned him into him. Because that's how Dante kn kind of knows him for when you play number one. Because Dante talks to him like he knows him. And obviously he does because it's his brother. And even when you beat him, when you beat him for the third time, the last time when you beat him, even Mundus says to Trish, he says uh, Virgil's been defeated. But it's like... That's the only way I could just explain it. It's because of this version, because of the special edition, of the fact that they put it so Lady Trish and Virgil are on it. And obviously, they've opened the thing and Virgil got out. And plus, the only thing that we know is that Virgil is... He's got more powerful, so maybe through uh, number one, when you beat him, like when you beat him on the last fight, you kind of you can kind of say you break the seal of him and Mundus together, like it breaks the seal, and then Virgil becomes himself again, but he's still corrupted, and then he's going to try and get all the all the corruption out of his soul or whatever. Like when I say with the whole uh, the whole music video, well, the battle tune for Devil May Cry 5, when I say it's all virtual. It's just all Virgil. Because even when you play through 3, when you play 3, uh, when you play three, you unlock, you do all difficulties. You get like Dante, you do Dante must die and stuff. You unlock a skin for Virgil, that is corrupted Virgil. He's in like a like a suit, and then when he goes Devil Trigger, it turns into the dude off of one. I looked at all the cut cut scenes for them all. Never seen them before. Yeah, it's just one of them things, isn't it? So obviously. I reckon that might have happened when we beat Virgil for the last time. It breaks the seal from Mundus, but then he's like, he's, he's kind of like he's fucked in a way, but then he brings himself back because that's why I personally think when he's in the demon world, he gains power because he's more demon than human in a way. Like he's still human, but he's got more of the demon side as he don't give a shit about humans. And plus the fact that's where this this is where Nero comes involved, because when this first came out, everyone's like, "How the hell did he get Sparta's blood in him?" And then you connect the pages. When you get the Yamato, you see Virgil's demon, and then it's thinking he's got to be Virgil's son. So obviously, Virgil is is obviously bumped ugly with someone. So obviously. Nero to be born. That's just the one thing I just want to know. That's what just it's that's in my mind is how did Dante get out of supposedly how did Dante get out of hell on two? Unless if he bumped into someone that could open it in a way, but it's like Why did he need to open it out in the human world to open the demon world when there's someone in there that can open, open the demon world? Unless if it's like a like a ritual type thing or something. Like it is it in the human world. And as soon as the first day I you saw her, order? I've never seen you before. I knew Gloria. As soon as I seen her, 
I thought that's Trish. You're Nero, right? I've heard rumors. Hasn't everyone? Quite a few, in fact, and none too flattering. So, what's the deal? Where are they coming from? It's strange. No matter the number you kill, more will come. <laughs> then I'll leave that chore to you. I've got some personal slaying to take care of. I'll join with the others. We'll take care of them. Mm. Uh, may the savior be with you on your journey. Been lawyer. That's all I want to know. How the hell did Dante get out of hell? I'm the second one. How? How did he get out? That's all I want to know. Plus, even at the same time, it kind of makes sense from what I said. When you beat Virgil for the last time on number one, you break the seal and then he goes back into his normal self. But he's still corrupted because of the whole uh, because of the whole uh, costume on three. When you play as Virgil and he's got the corrupted, it's because it's his face. He's like got like, it's like a... Uh, Like you can kind of tell is is corrupted, and then he gains his power through the demon world or whatever, and then he comes back, and obviously that's where it leads up to this of how Virgil's on this game, because obviously what you gotta remember, this is the special edition, but on the normal one there was no such thing. Because that's when I personally say that's the reason why they changed it is because of this addition, because of them adding Lady and Trish and but for it to connect. And obviously the person that is new the longest is obviously Lady because he bumped into her when he were in his teens, his 16 or 18. And that's like they've known each other for the longest. And that's when I say that Dante knew that he was Vir he's Virgil's son. For the fact that's the reason why he gives him the Yamato. Because he knew as soon as he seen him, he's like, Yeah, I know who you are. You're Virgil, my brother's son. Pretty sure I'm going the longest way. I just can't wait for five. Like, if if this like this being this, it's good as it is. But it's a fantastic game, and then and obviously DMC came out because obviously DMC is obviously after this, so that's why I say. The only shit thing about DMC is the fact that it's a reboot and they just totally just change the characters in a way. That's the main thing that anyone liked, but that's what I was kind of like when I first seen it. I'm like, what the fuck have they done? And then when you play it, the story, yeah, is a bit bad, but then obviously the first thing that you see is obviously Dante being a dick. And then it's like, no, we don't want this. But for the fact of playing it, you're thinking this is actually a good game. The combat, the combat system, and everything is—it's very fucking good. 
There's more to it. That it's got this. And the thingy with it. I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to go through the first door that I came through. Well, close to, sorry. I'm hoping if they do mention how he got out of I hope it, it's not going to be a random li a random line off way through instead of the full cutscene type of thing. I can easily miss things. Yeah. They will more likely connect it in like they'll probably say something like tri like Trish or Lady. That's why I say thinking that thinking must be on it as well. The girl from two. I forgot a name. I recently I fucking played it yesterday. And I can't even remember a name. So she's got to be on the game to connect it. Because then she could come up to go up to him and say How did you actually get out of hell? How did you get out of the demon world? And then obviously that's when Dante will probably tell her. Oh I fucking did this, that and this, 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 that, and then I bumped into someone. And then he let me out. Yeah, really. She's got to be on four. I mean five. Because it's like, when with this, that's when I said, well, if this is before two then, then where, where's she? Why ain't she on this game? Mate, I'm getting trapped. Is like, where's she? Why ain't she on this game? If it's supposedly before after two, she should be on this game. start off from second ending five seconds ending like a previous on DMC they could but I think the one th I reckon that will be the one thing that they will answer straight off the bat is the how when everyone was saying right two is the last one because of the fact of Dante going into hell but then, when you kind of see, since I've played through them again, you can kind of see, when you play one, obviously you play three, then you play one, and then obviously you know that 100%, that one is after three, because of the fact of the, of the ending cutscene of three, well, when you get the... When you get in the end, when you're in the credit scene bit, and you've got to kill the demons, and when you kill a hundred demons, you get the true ending. And then obviously on that ending, Dante is in the Devil May Cry one suit, and then that's when he he, he cut, when he finally names his shop Devil May Cry, and then when you go in, when it goes inside, he sits down. Well, because that's when he goes and sits down, and then he says, "Lady says, do you want to know the name?" And then obviously it says, "Devil May Cry." And even in the shop, it's exactly the same like, like layout as the number one shop. And then, if you play one, and then you come straight to two, you can kind of see the like. How can I say it? Like you can see it in Dante's face that. No, it does. This does come after one because it does look the same as one, but just a little bit older. And then this one is even older because of the fact he's got a beard and shit. But the, the fact it's just how did he get out of hell? That's how. Cause
because of the fact of him, like, with the whole uh, quote of Nero saying, oh, he must have come out of hell. The guy just literally came out of hell because of the fact that he's in a peaceful place, the place that he normally goes to, to like, to support Kidie, and then a random dude's just come in and bat killed, well, knowing that he's just killed the main leader, the priest or whatever. And then you would think, yeah, you're out of the demon world because you're killing humans. But then Dante obviously shows him, he says, the demons, I'm killing demons. And then that's when he says, that's when he says the line, he says, oh, the dudes just came out of hell. And then when you go on the second mission, he says, he says, do you think he brought them with him? Or do you think he did this? So obviously to think that Dante brought the demons. Like he made the demons, but obviously he didn't. As, that's what I say. The will 100%. It will tell you on how Dante got out and how this is con how. Obviously, at the same time, because Nero's on this. Obviously, Nero's on the second one. Well, number five, sorry. Because it's like even with, late with uh, Trish disguising herself as that other woman. You can kind of see her from the girl from 2. Because she, she throws knives. And obviously that's what the girl on 2 does. She mainly throws knives like she's a ninja. Like an assassin. In a way. So maybe that's where Trish got it from. They know each other because they kind of, you know, like, since they're kind of the same person in a way because Trish got created by Moondus and then she got created by the dude off too. They're kind of like the same person, like the sisters. Damn. You can kind of like say like uh, Melina and Katana off Mortal Kombat with the same person, but one was created, but obviously the other one's like a human, as you know. Because Melina is Katana, since K uh, Shao Kahn made Melina an image of Katana. So they are the kind of like the same person with. Trish and that other the girl off too. They are kind of the same person. Because obviously you're gonna you might be seeing that a lot as well. Game clip recorded because on this it auto recorded a, a clip for when you got like a triple S or S combo. Uh, and obviously they met Dante and then that's when they kind of changed in a way. He changed them. But yeah, I, I, I just, like, as you know, that I, that the one thing that I want to see on 5, I want to see Virgil come back. Because I've not seen this final trailer of whatever I've not seen it but I know for a fact he's gonna come back anyway and I want him to be the last boss or some way connected of him getting Sparta's power 
then he becomes Sparta. And then we finally fight Sparta for real. I do personally think as well someone's gonna die. Didn't figure this guy for a book well. I do. I do personally think like a main character is going to That's die. Way to get yourself shot. So, you after this guy too, or just here to catch some demons? I jumped. Fuck you. <laughs> Boom! That's when we will find out if Dante's will survive, yeah? I got an A this time. <laughs> 